name's Chris Garner, opening the Barry. So we're in uh, 107 to 109 Regent Street, Chippendale. Yeah, I guess the vision for the bar was really to try and make the coolest space possible. The, um, the space itself, the venue that we're occupying, it's inside an incredible building. It's this old industrial warehouse. I think it's something like 110 years old. It used to be a manufacturing plant and it's just beautiful old exposed brick. You know, you've got those big timber columns. You've got those old school archways, those brickwork archways. It's, it's such a cool space and we were super excited to take it over and try and open up a live music cocktail bar and try and just make a go of it. Yeah, so this is our new stage area that we've built. Just sitting up here, some new carpets, some boots currently on it, and some new paintwork going on. We've got a, I mean, we've got a bunch of different people playing. We'll have different artists every night and doing live music uh, Tuesday to Saturday with a mix of bands and DJs. But we go from everything from swing to rockabilly to some old school like soul music. Just trying to keep things fun and keep things fresh. Uh, so this is our mezzanine area, currently storage for uh, bar stools and seats and whatnot. Uh, but it's all just getting painted up now, and it should just be a cool little area to reserve on, on the weekends. And so you can sit out here, watch the whole space take place, watch the bartenders, and just get some good people watching with a perfect view of the, of the stage for the bands. Um, I guess one of our, I guess our key selling point is that we're a we're a cocktail bar with live music and what we really wanted to make was a space where you can go equally for live music and, and drinks at the same time. So less of a place where you go for a gig itself uh, and more of a place where you go, they've got live music on anyway, let's go there, for, let's go there, they've got great drinks, they're really cool, the space is sick and the, the music's awesome. I, I really, I wouldn't say that we're trying to target a specific thing, we're just really trying to open the coolest place possible and whoever wants to get involved can get involved. The name Barry comes from my grandfather and he was a, a pretty renegade character, a bit of a maverick and essentially when we envisioned this place we really wanted to capture that kind of spirit, this, um, this suit and tie by day and you know on the weekends he'd race cars and just get up get up to all sorts of adventures and, and crazy shit so we just wanted to kind of capture that spirit and get that get that in a bar. So we've taken a pretty conscious approach to everything we've done. So we offer a wide variety of things, trying to cater to each and every audience and really just trying to make a, the best drinks we can at, at all times. So we're not a category focused bar. We, we have a cocktail list of 10 and they're all uh, original drinks. Uh, and they're all, there are a lot of time and effort was put into that, a lot of research was done. So we're pretty excited to showcase those. But at the same time, we'll make anything for anyone. So we're pretty late night, Fridays, Saturdays, we're 4 a.m. closing, uh, DJs till late and bands on the Fridays as well, and so it's a, it's, it's a come in anytime style. It'll be snacks, snacks and, snacks and small plates. We're keeping it all as local as possible, so we're Brickfield, Brick, Brickfield Bakery bread and uh, LP quality meats and then a, a range of cheeses from all sorts of places. And, these will all rotate and we'll keep it fresh and exciting and continue to add more dishes on as, as we continue to operate. Uh, I guess the experience we'd want people to walk away with is feeling like they were looked after and feeling like they got a cool time. You know, it's, it's good cocktails, it's live music and I'm just trying to nail the service each and every time. We're opening Friday the 4th, grand open. Then we've got Declan Kelly, Kelly playing uh, and the DJs till 4am. Uh, but <clears throat> how do I feel personally? Like I'm, I, I'm excited. You know, a lot of time and effort went into this from a whole lot of people, and uh, you know, we're super excited to show people what we've done. And you know, we think it's pretty cool, and I, I hope everyone else thinks it's as cool as we do.